Hello everybody. I have here a very interesting magnet array that I wanted to show you. And these are basically two circular magnet arrays. They are not arranged like a Halbach array, but all the magnets are facing the same direction. So I made um, two radially magnetized ring magnets with a lot of cube magnets and I will take them apart and explain this to you a bit. So all these magnets are facing south pole inwards and north pole outwards and with the smaller array they are all facing south pole outwards and north pole inwards so basically inverse and if I put them together like this you will see it will align 90 degrees apart from it so it doesn't want to stay like if I do it like this it flips out and yeah I can turn it a bit but it always wants to go back into this position so yeah basically the field shifts at 90 degrees apart and what is interesting about this array is that you can feel really strange effects when you take yeah you just have to hold it in your hand and rotate it in any direction it is like holding a spinning flywheel in your hand you have a certain momentum that is working against your movement of the array itself and yet this should be to no surprise if you consider that the magnetic field itself is rotating and as you can see they're 90 degrees um, shifted from each other so yeah this is <laughs> really crazy the effects that you get from this i will of course also provide you the 3d printing files so you can make this erase yourself all you need is a 3d printer and these five millimeter cube magnets these are neodymium magnets make sure you get the strongest available ones like i have here these are n52 gauss um, magnets so the effect will be the strongest and if you just turn it like this you will get yeah very interesting effects and now i will show you the magnets under the magnetic viewing film so you can get a bit better idea of how the field itself looks like and yeah i just take the magnet like this and put it under the viewing film if i get really close to it you can see the single magnets and if i go a bit further away from it you will see that it forms a really nice um, yeah, circular pattern, like with a true radially magnetized ring magnet. And now I will tilt it just a bit. And this is the side view of it. As you can see, and on the other side it looks exactly the same, of course. So we've got South Pole on the inside and North Pole on the outside of this array. And the same goes for the smaller array that I have here. Here we have North Pole inside, South Pole outside, but doesn't look different because of this. It's just a smaller array. Yeah, and this is what you can see under the magnetic viewing film. So now I will put them together. like this and then I will show you the same under the magnetic viewing film and this is what you can basically see so I'm holding it like this and then show it like this and yeah I was thinking about this a bit so 
if you look at from here it maybe reminds you of a certain geometry and give me a second I will just grab my phone if you view uh, this is an image a computer generated image of a black hole and if you view this side from side like this you will see from just from the geometry it looks kind of similar or the same I don't know if the actual field is the same or this would create any effect like this but yeah viewed from this and also under the magnetic viewing film this looks very interesting so I jokingly call this the black hole array <laughs> So, these are really interesting effects you get with an array like this. And I will also show you something different. So here I have a neodymium magnet in this cardboard. So this is a 7 cm diameter disc magnet. This is 1 cm thick. You could see this on my last video and this is just in its original packing so there's some cardboard around for safety reasons of course because this magnet is really strong and what is interesting is if I take this array and place it on here you will see it always stands on the small magnet like 90 degrees perpendicular like this of course if I move it a bit outward it shifts because of the toroidal nature of the magnetic field but if I put it right on the center it stands like this and it really doesn't want to move and if I now flip it and place it on the other pole of the big neodymium magnet you will see it is now shifted 90 degrees it doesn't stand on the small ring magnet but on the big one like this and yeah of course it's also very stable show you again this side stands on the small magnet like this yeah I think this is a really interesting magnet array that gives you really interesting effects especially when you just hold it like this and turn it in any direction you will feel uh, yeah, the momentum of the rotating magnetic field itself and of course in both directions like this and like this and as I said build this yourself and feel it yourself this is very interesting I've also made an arrays like this just with one of these but combined multiple of these and yeah with this I get kind of strong of this anti-gravity effects that I showed you in earlier videos with yeah if you move them just like this starting from an angle like this and then going down in an angle or a slight curve against any surface that, like this is just wood floor you will feel a, rep a repellent force against it same with the smaller magnet but I've made a race with more of these so the effect is even stronger if you're interested in that I will make an extra video for this and yeah this basically brings us to the end of this video and I also wanted to talk about something personal about in this video and yeah I basically wanted to thank all of you because I've started uploading this most of my videos like two or three months ago and I can see already a lot of people are interested in this stuff and the feedback from you is also mostly very positive and helpful and 
yeah, I wanted to thank you all for supporting my channel and this gives me basically some motivation to upload more videos because if no one would watch this I yeah I think I don't I wouldn't upload my videos like I do. So this is for now. Thanks for watching and goodbye.